This is a membrane. It doesn't even have to be a lipid bilayer, just some kind of membrane. Here we have a region of high concentration. Here we have a region of low concentration. Down a concentration gradient happens spontaneously. Up a concentration gradient doesn't happen spontaneously. It requires an input of energy to occur. However, that's not quite the whole story. This is a dynamic equilibrium we're talking about. If something can move in this direction and also can move in this direction, like something that can just cross a lipid bilayer, um, it's going to be moving in both directions. There's simply more molecules here, or substances, whatever this is, uh, stars, on this side than there is on that side. So there's going to be more collisions with the membrane coming from this side than this side. In order for movement to occur across the membrane, collision has to occur first. And the result is, is there's simply more movement going this way than there is this way. So overall, there's net movement going in this direction rather than the other direction. So there's more movement in this direction. And that will continue until the concentration is the same on both sides, at which point the rate of movement in both directions will be the same. And that's equilibrium. That's dynamic equilibrium. So this is perturbed away from equilibrium. This is movement down a concentration gradient. Things will tend to net move down a concentration gradient if you allow them to.